Everything's Halloween. This is Hauntformer, and welcome to my brand new series called Haunter's Workshop. The show where I show you how to build Halloween props and effects for your very own haunted house. And in today's episode, you are going to learn how to build a PVC Halloween figure. <laughs> But wait, Hauntformer, how do we make a PVC figure? Well, before we get started, we need a few supplies. Well, the first thing you're gonna need is something to cut the PVC. Now you can use a PVC cutter, but I also prefer a saw. Uh, they work pretty well. You can get them at Home Depot, they're pretty cheap, and you can refill or, uh, or re-cartridge um, the saw part. And then also, you're gonna need something to glue the PVC with, and the best that works is um, the regular clear PVC cement that you can pick up at Home Depot for uh, pretty cheap. Before you get started, you're gonna need a few essential PVC parts that will really help you make your figure, and you're going to see how they're used when I make a demonstration model for you today. But one of the most important pieces of PVC is the cross piece, and this piece will connect the head, arms, and body of your figure. There are also a lot of other important PVC pieces that you will need for your figure. You're going to need a T piece to connect the body to the legs of your prop, and this piece is very important. You're also going to need at least four 90 degree angle pieces so that you can make joints and uh, places to connect the arms and legs to your body of the prop. And finally, uh, this one's kind of uh, something you don't have to have necessarily, but it's still important. It's a elbow piece to kind of make an elbow for your prop. You can also use a 90 degree if you would like, but I prefer these. They work great. But wait, Hotformer, there's still something you're missing to make a PVC figure, and you're exactly right. And this is probably the most important and logical part of the build, and that is the PVC itself. Um, here's what it looks like when you get the big one. And it's actually pretty cheap for this whole uh, 10 foot strand of it. It only costs about $2, and it goes really high up in the air. Now, you wanna make sure you have PVC that is sturdy, but also not really heavy, or else your prop is gonna be um, hard to move and hard to disassemble and reassemble. I like to go with either a 3 4 inch or a 1 half inch PVC. Those tend to work the best. But if you're using um, PVC for maybe larger props or larger um, things that you are designing, then it would go accordingly. One more tip before we get started with actually putting together the entire figure is that you can actually buy bags of PVC pieces itself so you save a little bit of money. I just tried it out and it's awesome because you don't have to pay for individual pieces and it's a lot cheaper. Alright everyone, we are going to get started with building the figure. The first thing you are going to need is a T-piece to make the hips. So you're going to add on the hip pieces. Now depending on your character, the hips can be bigger or smaller. For this character, they are a little bit shorter. And you want to try to cut accurately. And please be safe. If you are a younger viewer, please have adult supervision. You do not want to hurt yourself. And I want, wouldn't want to get you hurt um, or have yourself get injured by using a saw or a PVC cutter. So please be careful because they are dangerous. But when you use them correctly, you will have something cut like that. And next we are going to add um, some elbows. Of course, I'm not doing this super accurately because I'm trying to pick it up to the camera. So you're going to have something like this. And now we are going to add the legs on like so. And um, this is going to be the bottom of the character. Of course, this will be its foot and this will be its hip area. The next step for our PVC prop here is we're gonna add the body. And the body is actually probably the easiest part of the build. So you're gonna take a piece about this long. I kinda measure it by my own body, but you measure it, of course, any way that you feel your character should look. Um, so about that long. And then you're gonna take your T piece, which is kind of the center of the entire prop, and you're going to add it on top of that like so. Now we can add arms, shoulders, and of course, the head. 
Here is the arms, or should I say shoulders, of the PVC character. And I have some uh, 90 degree elbow pieces and I'm just gonna stick on the end there for now. Um, but you can of course adjust them in any way you want before you glue. And now you're gonna make some arms. And if you want to, we're gonna add some elbow pieces. After adding the 90 degree pieces to the shoulders, I then added a semi long piece uh, to fill in right there. Added a elbow piece. It's not 90 degrees, probably 45. And then finally ended with a nice long piece right there. So that is how the arms will look. Of course, those are a little bit long, so I might shorten them up a bit. Um, but that uh, is the outline of the arms. Something to note, just something to help you with your judgment. This part of the arm should always uh, most of the time, I mean, it depends on the character, but for a humanoid uh, character, sh this part should always be smaller than this part, and the shoulders should usually always be shorter than the hips, uh, or if not the same size. So this is what the character looks like so far. Now all we need is a small neck piece, just, just a little piece, and then you can add a mannequin head that you can pick up at Michael's and it's really cheap. I think they are like five dollars or something so they're not that much money. Um, or you can just have a PVC sticking straight up and you can just put your head on top that way. Any way really works and I'm gonna show you what your character will look like. Now before I actually put everything on the character, um, also just before I mention the glue, I want to note that I did add this neck piece on. Uh, but before you glue, here's a few things I want to note. I'm not going to actually show me gluing, but pretty much what all you do is you pull out that little wand thing and then wrap it, uh, kind of wipe it around the PVC and just stick in it. It's kind of like regular glue except it has a little wand that comes with it. Um, so something to note about uh, gluing your prop is to first make sure it looks how you want. Um, exactly because as soon as you glue it's permanent pretty much because uh, you really have to pull it if you want it to change because that glue is like cement as it says pvc cement so it really hardens quickly um so that's one thing to note and also make sure you don't get it on you or anything else because it will stain and you want to make sure that your clothes or your skin doesn't get all sticky and make sure to wash your hands afterwards so now we're going to add some clothes to this guy and see how he turns out. Here is just a small and kind of stupid looking example of what you can make uh, out of the body of the PVC character. Now note, this was not even thought of, I just threw this ghost face costume on this uh, PVC body just to show you an example of something you could do, but of course this one looks pretty stupid. If you've seen my channel, you know that I've made far better than this. So please check out my Hatbox Ghost build if you want to see a really good PVC character. Um, but this is just an example of what you can build with PVC. I'd really like to thank you all for watching episode one of Haunter's Workshop. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned a little bit of something today on this episode. Please send me your photos. Um, of your PVC figures to hauntformer at gmail.com and maybe you'll be featured on next uh, in the next episode. I'm not sure when I'm exactly going to post these but uh, you can expect a new one coming out very soon. Also, leave in the comments an idea that you want for an upcoming episode of this show. It can be anything you can think of within reason. I mean, I'm not going to make a 50-foot PVC spider or some uh, digital effect. But if you want to learn how to make an effect or a prop, it doesn't have to be PVC. It could be anything. Leave it in the comments, and I will try to answer your your quest. I don't know what that is. Your questions. So thank you again so much for watching this episode of Haunter's Workshop. And remember, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.